Hey, this is Carl Anderson with Marine Max Charleston off Daniel Island, and today I'm going to take you through a brand new 2021 Scout 380 LXF. Starting off with the boat's exterior, this is the full black hull color, along with the Midnight Edition package. So you can see we have the black rub rail. All of the powder coating on the boat's interior is done in black to match that hull color. As part of the Scout's S-Class, which is 33 feet and up, we have a double stepped hull, and this boat is built with um, epoxy infused e glass. We've also got underwater lights, part of the step, fold out dive door, which we'll talk about inside. We're making our way back to the boat. There's some features here at the transom. We've got a 50 foot Glen Dating power cable, We've got our triple engine flush kit so I have a single connection I can flush all three engines with just a single hose got the zip wakes beneath the trim tabs more underwater lights back here at the transom and now we'll make our set make our way inside the boat starting off here in the cockpit first off with the seating have a nice stern seat Double wide, with a nice high backrest. Easily seats two adults comfortably. When I stow this up, I've got a nice padded bolster along with bolsters throughout the entire cockpit when I'm fishing off this back end. Continuing with fishing accommodations, this boat has pump out fish boxes on both sides, which you can also use as coolers, being they're insulated. Here we've got a, a closable and lockable cockpit door so we can keep smaller children or smaller dogs safely inside. Back here at the transom, we've got a full walk, a walk across transom with the Eztec faux teak material on the swim platform. This boat is powered by triple 350 Verados. These are the supercharged engines and this boat also has joystick docking. There's several rod holders along the transom. We have a 60-40 bait well with carbon fiber lids. Here to the port side, we have our fold-out beach platform. So this folds out and extends. We've got a telescoping ladder that retracts. We've got a stainless steel grab handle to get us safely back inside but a really nice feature when you're anchored out or beached here we've got our systems access so you can see everything is easy to get to very large hatch everything is finished out we've got our sea chest for all of our pumps 8kw gen set and then further forward we also have our Seakeeper 3, where it's housed. This aft facing uh, bench seat here has a nice convertible step. And this seat is also powered. So the seat comes up, the footrest stows away. And now I've got my grill, my wet bar sink, cutting board, tackle storage. Everything you need for a full day on the water. If we pan up, you can also see we've got the sure shade extended out along with the retractable rocket launchers. So this makes putting fishing rods in and out of the rocket launchers, the rod holders, much easier. This is also powered as well. We've got both fresh and raw water built into the hard top. And that fresh water does have both hot and cold temperatures. We've got a refrigerator along with an ice maker built into the leaning post. Here at the helm, we've got three sets of seating, each that has its own individual bolster and fold down armrests with a slightly larger seat for the captain. This is the 
tan heritage ultra vinyl from scout so it's really soft and comfortable to the touch these seats are also heated which is a standard feature here at the helm we've got triple 86 16s from garmin those are 16 inch screens we've got our seven inch mercury vessel view here our zip wake that auto trim tab system air conditioning down at, or here at the helm in addition to what's in the cockpit or down in the cabin excuse me all digital switching on these Garmin screens. Above, we had some hardwire switches and along with our Seakeeper display. Garmin 315 uh, VHF radio. Glove box with charging ports for our devices. Digital start and stops for our engines. Upgraded Edson steering wheel with a steering knob and a rubber back is on a tilt wheel, a tilt base. Of course, digital, digital throttle and shift with those Mercury Verados, and again with the joystick, we have both autopilot and skyhook features, all in, all integrated from Mercury, along with our power steering. Windshield wiper, big tempered glass windshield with ventilation above, plenty of speakers throughout the hardtop. I want to head back to the cockpit one more time. I didn't show our actual seat keeper now that I have this aft facing seat upright. So this is our seat keeper system. So again, a big area, easy to get to everything. But this is a seat keeper three, which is standard on the 380 LXF. Moving further forward, you got a midship index storage locker or fish box here. Also another great option as a cooler. Now we'll check out the cabin. So here we've got a microwave, a single burner cooktop, refrigerator. We've got an enclosed shower and head. We've got a convertible berth that sleeps too along with the television, and that filler cushion does remove for a dinette. I can get down in there and I can open up the doors. So here we've got our head, porcelain vacuum flush head. We've got tackle storage behind this compartment, along with storage for five rods. Our switch panel is also back here. We can power the boat on and have access to all of our systems on board. Moving forward up to the bow, we've got a really large chase lounge Seats too very comfortably with lumbar support, fold down armrests, a fold down console with cup holders as well. Really comfortable seat. You're beneath the gunnels, so you feel safe. You're not exposed by any means. Really safe and secure, comfortable area. We've also got storage. This houses um, our ladder, our dive ladder. You've got really deep storage down in there. I'll show you how deep that is. About two and a half feet. Our forward lounge area. So beneath all of these cushions, we have storage, both port and starboard. Beneath this filler cushion is a powered table. So I can raise and lower this. I can bring it all the way down to the floor, or I can raise it up at a normal dinette level. If I want to do any cocktailing or any alfresco dining, I can bring this all the way up or get it totally out of the way and drop it down to the floor if I'm going to fish this area. I've also got a storage locker and an access if I ever need to service the table motor. I've also got a windless anchor up front. pedal controls in addition to the switches that I have back at the helm. 
Got another uh, freshwater sprayer here as well. We have several rod holders up front. So this boat is also equipped with a bow shade kit. So this boat is ready for shade. We already have the clips installed into the hard top. So when you're beached, you're moored, you're anchored, you're docked, you want to shade this area and get everybody out of the sun, you can easily do that. You can see up on the hard top as well, we've also got a Lumatech light bar. We also have outriggers already installed. Great boat from Scout, ready to fish, ready to cruise, everything that you need for Charleston. If you have any questions about this model or any of our others, give us a call at 843-747-1889 and always check us out online at marinemax.com. I'm Carl Anderson. Thanks for watching.